Hello everyone, back in the kitchen again today. It's a bit of a hot one, so if I look a bit red faced that'll be why. This week would have been Wimbledon. Don't know how many of you knew that or realised that. Wimbledon Tennis Championships. But unfortunately we won't be able to watch them this year because they've been cancelled. However, you can watch previous years on iPlayer if you want to, or on YouTube. So today I'm going to make a topical uh, dessert. I'm going to do a twist on eat and mess and I'm going to call it Wimbledon mess. Okay, there's no cooking involved unless you want to. Um, any recipes that I've actually used in this I'll post at the end of this video. So, let me see, we have got some strawberries and I've got some pineapple as well. Some meringues, some little fudge pieces, a selection of nice biscuits, some cream, some ice cream, some strawberry sauce and some gin and tonic lemon sauce and you can choose which you like out of these things or you can change it for your own taste. So I'm going to use these nice big gin glasses to uh, make it in. I'm going to make one for me and one for my friend. So I'm going to start off at the bottom with some ice cream. So I have to work a bit fast because I don't want it to melt too much. I'm just going to put a blob of ice cream in at the bottom. I don't know if any of you have been to Wimbledon. I was lucky enough to go when I was a child several times. I saw some of the very famous uh, old Wimbledon players like Virginia Wade and Billie Jean King. I'm going to put some meringue in now. Just crumble them in. Okay, these are ones that I have made, but of course you can easily get shop-bought ones. And then I'm going to put a bit of whipped cream in, which is I'm just going to put a couple of little blobs. I whipped it beforehand because the machine would have made too much noise. I've also seen uh, John McEnroe play, and of course he's a commentator for Wimbledon now. He was quite an angry player. He used to throw his racket down, and I've seen that once or twice. When I went to Wimbledon, you had to stand up if you didn't pay much for your tickets on uh, the centre court but it was well worth the, the standing. Now I've put, as you can see, pineapple and strawberries in because I just love the combination. So now we're going to layer it up and I'm going to put another blob of ice cream in on top of that. Oh, doesn't this look delicious? Just what you want on a hot summer's day. And something like this, something like it, might be served at Wimbledon. Oh, forgotten the fudge pieces. I put those in before there'll be a nice bit of texture in there as you're chomping away. And I'm gonna pour a little bit of sauce. Now on one of them, I'm gonna do a bit of the strawberry sauce. And on the other one, I'm gonna do the gin sauce and we'll see which one we like best. That is if I can get the gin sauce out. Oh, there it is. I should say gin and lemon really. It's obviously more lemon than gin. And then I'm just gonna to top that with a bit of meringue. I don't think I need all of the meringue I've got here. And some more fruit, because that is just so yummy. And it just looks delicious as well, doesn't it? Some more fruit. And then I'm gonna put a nice big blob of cream on top of that. There we go. And then maybe a few more fudge pieces, because they're always very nice. There we go. And then, just to eat with it, you can have a nice shortbread biscuit, or if you fancy it, you could have a party ring, or you could even have an Oreo chocolate biscuit, whatever you really fancy. And that's it today. No cooking, just a lovely dessert. A bit decadent, but uh, just lovely in this weather with the fresh fruit. Hope you enjoy it and as I say the recipes will be at the end of this video if you want to make the shortbread biscuit or the meringues. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.